I really can't make this up. <sighs> but like, at what point does the double st stop? Hey, hey, it's your girl, Andrea. Go ah. tail wag. She get, kind of getting better. <laughs> Excuse me. This was not on my let's do this tonight shenanigans. Hey. Come here. Come on, dingus, let's go. Go on. Let's go. There's two of them. The other one ran in just fine. This one's being a jerk. Um, so, old lady with the hurt foot that we induced finally started calving. Um, had some problems. I'm on duty tonight. It is like 11.30. We called the vet because I thought we had a calf coming upside down. Turns out we had two babies coming. So that's set number five. I really can't make this up. <laughs> I wasn't going to start a vlog. I was just going to be like, here's a calf. Didn't know if it was going to be a good outcome or a bad outcome. Other Two. Chaos. <laughs> Again. Chaos. Uh, they have drunk in their throats. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Good job, mama. Girl. We're definitely gonna give them colostrum because she does not have much of an udder with the fact that they might be a touch early and just being a old lady with a sore hip, halfway down cow. Last I checked, she didn't have milk, um, but obviously if she's been down for a day and a half now. Um, she got up yesterday morning, so day and a half. Um, She's not gonna, they're not gonna be able to nurse. So we're gonna give them colostrum tonight. And because one came backwards. Should have started recording apparently, but anyways, you missed out. First one came backwards, second one came really easy just because you're old and you have done this probably 14 times in your life, so. <laughs> I don't even know it's in the water right now because I don't know who she was with either. I'm gonna have to figure out what bull this was. But like, at what point does the double st stop? <laughs> like it's cool to get an extra calf, but like, this is weird. This is, it's a lot. These two are both heifers too, so. Wild, man. Wild. You're doing great. <laughs> There's a little wind, girls. <laughs> oh, what a time. Oh, hey, hey, twenty number one. You coming to see your new sisters? The girl clan. Oh, yeah. We got the girl clan going. Get it, girl. Get out of the way. <laughs> She's so confused. What's happening? Eventually. I've had a couple of you ask me about this colostrum. Um, so it's a Cargill product. So if you can find a Cargill dealer, they have it. I saw that Armor Animal Health online also has it. It's just a Genesis colostrum replacer. Um, if you can't find it, um, Gen X also has a really good option. I don't remember what theirs is called, but you'll want to find the one that has 150 on it. That is like gold standard even like almost bare minimum now of what they suggest for immunoglobulin proteins worth of colostrum but it's just a powder in a bag um they used to come in a supplement option as well but this is the full replacer so if you ever like supplement you just split it in half or swap um so i'm gonna try to get half of each calf for now and then all it is is powder you add hot water to the line and then you shake and then obviously like it changes on the sits there um <clears throat> and you have to have hot, hot water but it works well and then they have the tubers that attach Ooh, I just got water on my phone. 
directly to it like this or they have their own nipples as well which are really soft or even smaller than these um they actually work really well so that's the colostrum in general but easy peasy it's like liquid gold and it does a lot for calves i just want to see if either of them cry as much or does it Alright, so babies are with me. I can see them over there. Um, Mama, they're not safe with her because she hasn't been up in 36 hours. So if she does try to get up and loses her balance and ends up laying, landing on one of them and actually killing them. Could very much happen. Um, and also, she's tired. She's old. I don't know, honestly, if she's going to come out of this. Just being very real with you. Um, <clears throat> we kind of planned on this after she went down really late in, you know, trimester three a month ago, that this might be a rescue mission for calves. A calf, we didn't know there was two in here, for a calf. Um, and then her ending up final resting place likely here, but we'll see. Um, she could get up now that there's 107 pounds of calves plus more weight of fluids out of her, placenta and such, but all it takes is, I mean, there's not a lot left to her because she was older and going downhill and twins taking all of her nutrition away from her. I'll keep you posted on the whole situation, but we were hoping for a live calf. That was the goal, um, especially with her being down the last 36 hours and we had two live calves. So, <laughs> yeehaw, but they have claws from their bellies. I'm sure they will wake me up at some point here. And if you're wondering what time it is, it is now almost one o'clock in the morning. So at least we called the vet when he was still awake. So I didn't feel so bad. Um, got the same one that pulled the first set of twins. So he, he came and I was like, hey, guess what? You started something. Because ever since you were here, we've had, this is twin set number, or we said we had had four sets. And he was like, well, here's number five. And I was like, wild. But anyways, okay, going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. One of the babies is very, very, very gray. And the other one is very brown. Nice. Got more kids to take care of. <laughs> Strangling calves, making them stay there. I ate 22. So there's two in this pen. There's three in that pen, and they're all in the back there. And then there's, you know, 20 something in the other <laughs> But, <clears throat> so we got so far. I think this is the only calf that you guys haven't seen. So that's out of Nathan and I's herd. A little baldy heifer. Second caver. Good job. Oh, you're gonna run away. Um, everybody else, I think. Oh, well, I guess 2311 calf too, but that was the one you saw at the very end of the last video, so. 
yeah, otherwise, <laughs> just waiting, waiting on the chaos. You're fine, goodness gracious. The gray twin drank a little over a quarter of a bottle this morning, and the browner other twin um, drank a little bit, like this much of a bottle, so maybe an eighth. Um, but they did get colostrum at like 12.30 in the morning, so they'd be all right. And sometimes it just takes some suckle. And if they're a little bit early in sets too, it'll take a little bit longer, but they're trying to stand and get in their feet and they're peeing and making a mess, but they'll come out of there. Should be, they should be good. So we'll keep an eye on them. There's the floor set. I moved them up front so they can keep an eye on them. So that's the heifer. And then the bull calf is back there. And mom's eating because she's hungry. 95 twins come out of last night, not expecting that at all. And then just a bunch of babies hanging out. And then the last, the first twin pair, that's the bull calf and the heifers sitting over by the alleyway there. So we're gonna let them out soon. They're doing well. Normally I don't have to clarify so much on the twins, but when there's more than like one or two sets and there's five, that's where it gets confusing. Look at us go. We dipped our navels with iodine. We just drank a quarter bottle each. Come on. There you go. It's like your first steps. You're doing so well. Oh, oh. <laughs> we were doing so well. Wow, look at that nice little a hut with bedding. So that's the latest set. Little Miss. Hey, Tetsu. She's like, oh, where you are? Uh, she's over there. She's wreaking havoc on everybody, so. All right, this is where we're at. Five sets of twins. The last one were Heifer and Heifer. You can see the bulls are listed behind them. So we have two out of Ed, one out of Jesse, one out of Baldy, and one out of Old Man. And then we have 17 bulls, 13 heifers. 30 calves total out of 25 cows. So the heifers are catching up. It was pretty uneven until the last couple days. Well, folks, it was another quiet day. All this stuff keeps happening randomly in between my vlogs, but whatever, I guess. Um, the good thing is our cow that we've been watching and worried about is now done calving. So um, she has not gotten up yet. She has tried, so we'll see. Um, but if she does not get up, it's not going to be a happy ending for her. However, um, at this point, she's so old. She's been here so long, had so many calves that she will get her final resting place likely here at the farm. So there's that little tidbit. Um, she had two heifers. They're doing well. They both drank quarter, a little over a quarter of a bottle each tonight. So mom's going to try to feed them again tonight later when she goes for um, her round of night shift and chores are done. It's windy. It's kind of chilly outside. Like I should be wearing my coat, but we'll see. You saw that 30 calves, 25 calves. There's 173 to go. So we're not even close to them. Yeah. But I'm going to head home. Um, probably go to bed early cause did not get much sleep last night with all of that chaos. The sun is shining. Woo! But if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.